Hello and welcome to this How to Play video. I am Jordan and I'm joined here with Michael Costello. How are you doing, mate? I'm well, thank you. Very excited to talk about probably my favorite Space Marine faction. I've yeah. used them a lot in the past few years. Mm -hmm. I love the customizability. Um, yes, very excited yeah. to talk about them in 10th edition. Yeah, I don't think I can name every single chapter here. Oh. I could probably name a few. Yeah, we, okay. we have got angry well, Marines. Should we have a go at that later? Okay, yeah, cool. Let's cool, have cool. a go at that yeah, later. Cool. Yeah, right, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, right, who are the Death Watch? Yeah. So um, the Death Watch are a Space Marine chapter that takes basically veterans from all across the other chapters, uh, inducts them into Death Watch, trains them how to kill aliens um, better than they are already trained, I guess. Um, and then they go out and they specialize in small elite units mm -hmm. um, that form like, like 10 Marines might go onto a planet and deal with a, an Orc war by killing the war boss and, and a bunch of other guys. So they're kind of like a, a really elite um, space room force specifically to fight aliens, though they do, of course, fight other stuff as well. Yep, it's just spec ops. Really. It's basically spec ops. They all wear black and they yeah. have one silver armor and shoulder pad. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes when they go back to their chapter, yeah. they keep that shoulder pad. Yeah. Um, it's very cool and the army is a great way to basically do every Space Marine chapter. Yeah. Um, and customize each Marine as, as much as you like. So, um, yes, but looking forward to talking about them a bit more in a yeah, bit. Yeah, same, mate, same. Um, but obviously, first of all, a massive thank you to Games Workshop for giving us all the index cards mm -hmm. um, and allowing us to preview this index. Yes, and I, I have actually got some of the Leviathan miniatures painted up now oh. in Death Watch colors because they yeah. really, really suit the, the theme. Yes, um, they do. They yeah. do. All right, so what's the army rule there, Mike? The army rules for the Death Watch, pretty simple. So the first one is because they're Space Marines, mm -hmm. they have Oath of Moment, which means that in your command phase, you're going to pick an enemy unit yep. on the table, and all of your guys are going to get reroll hits and reroll wounds against that target. Can't I complain mean, there, can you? Can't complain there. Super strong ability. Yep. Um, great. Uh, we also get another army rule, which is kill teams. Okay, and what does this do? So Death Watch basically have some of their own units called kill teams, mm. which are formed of models from sort of different armor styles um, and different like units all combined into one. Okay, so the rules on kill teams, it basically just tells you how a kill team works Okay. in terms of different toughness characteristics. Um, so it's basically the majority. If right. they're tied, okay. yeah. um, then use the highest. Oh, okay, that's okay. Nice. So just some simple stuff there, and then there's more rules for determining how many they count as in a transport while they're right. part of a kill team, mm -hmm. which is less than they normally would. Um, and if you do want to put a kill team in a transport, then you can kind of ignore some of the um, restrictions. So if it's okay. not a Terminator, for example, you can ignore that restriction um, that Terminators can't go in the vehicle. Right. If it's a kill team that can normally go in that vehicle. Right. So it allows you right. to have that flexibility. With exactly. Your exactly. It means you can still play the army as you need to yeah. with the transports you've got available. Um, in addition, whenever you're interacting with terrain features, all of the models in the unit are considered infantry because you can put bikes in some of these units. Oh, so a bike could count as infantry yeah. and go through And go through walls. walls, yes. If you're familiar with the previous edition, uh, it's exactly the same, essentially. Nice. Uh, as well. Um, so yeah, very cool. That's that's the army rule. That's a good army Death rule. Watch. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like it. All right, well, what's the detachment rule then? Okay, the detachment for the Death Watch yep. is the Black Spear Task Force. Um, and these guys are really cool. So yeah. what we get is mission tactics. Okay. Okay, so... In each of your command phases, mm -hmm. you can pick a mission tactic to be put into play. Okay, very So this dramatic. is, if you know Space Marines or you've watched our How to Play Space Marines, it works very similarly to the Gladius Strike Force with the okay. Doctrines. Mm -hmm. um, so these are once per game only. Okay, so right. at the start of a command phase, you could choose to have the Furore Tactics, mm -hmm. which gives all of your weapons on all of your Astartes units sustained hits one. Okay, okay, that's good. You get, that, you get that once per battle, but you can have it obviously for the whole battle round. Yeah, that's really good, really good. Um, the next one is Malaya's Tactics, which is lethal hits across all of your weapons. Okay. That's shooting and melee. Okay, so you're going to use that more against um, tougher opponents, so like exactly. vehicles, maybe knights. Exactly. Okay, exactly. nice. Uh, and then the last one is Pegatus Tactics, Ooh. Um, which is where all of your critical hits um, become precision. Okay, so all of your sixes to hit, unmodified sixes to hit, become precision. That can be really nasty with some of the weapons in the arsenal. For Death Watch. Yeah. And bear in mind, of course, this can be on all your vehicles too. Okay, so let's just look at this because I think when you're looking at 10th edition, characters are key mm. because the benefits that most characters give in a game benefit the unit they are, that they are attached to. Yep. So what you're saying is your army can literally just snipe out these characters yep. in melee and shooting. Mm -hmm. 
and you can just stop your opponent from getting their bonuses and yep. their units. So I could just have this one turn where I'm like, okay, there's three units out that have characters in them. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Just annihilate the characters and then maybe charge and kill the units in, in combat. That's it's, really strong. Yes, it's really, really strong. Yeah. Um, I like it a lot. Okay. So I do have one question. Mm -hmm. Can you use the Gladius Task Force? You could as you Deathwatch, can. yes. Okay, you could right. use the Gladius Task Force. Um, yeah. Would you prefer this one or the Gladius? Um, it's an interesting question. Let's go through all of the stuff we get, like the stratagems yeah. enhancements first. Okay. And then maybe we'll talk about this at the end. Like yeah, yeah, sure. Because obviously the Gladius is very strong, and I know there yes. are some space marine sub-factions yeah. that would prefer to use that to their own one. Yes. I'm um, looking at you, Space Wolves. I'm really sorry. Um, <laughs> so, yes, the last thing to mention is there are restrictions to use yeah. Deathwatch. Yeah. Um, because they are the best of the best. Okay. Um, they can't have assault squads. Okay. They can't have assault squads with jump packs, obviously, if they can't have the other one. Tragic. They can't have attack bikes. Mm. They can't have devastator squads. Okay. Land speeder storms, scout squads, scout sniper squads, and tactical squads. Okay. okay so the biggest loss there is probably the devastator squad. Yes. Um, yeah. Weirdly, yeah, so no scouts, no scouts allowed, no tacticals allowed, yeah. no assaults. Because we've got veterans, we've got vanguard veterans, we've it got makes sense, Death right? Watch veterans, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, it makes thematic sense, and I don't think yeah. you're missing out on too much. I mean, no. being a Blood Angel player, I know you're going to be missing out on the Assault Marines, because uh, they are I mean, good. hot take, vanguard veterans are garbage compared to Assault Marines. Yeah, I yeah, mean, so I don't think you're anyway, going to be take, taking them any time uh, soon. Unfortunately, but... <laughs> our vanguard veterans also can't take some of the war gear we used to be able to take. Like such as the heavy thunder hammers and okay. things like that. So do they so, still have the heirloom weapons? They, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly right, that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'll run through sort of one full data sheet of kill team so that you okay. understand kind of how the the data sheet works because it yes. can be more confusing than other armies' data sheets. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll get there in a bit. So that's awesome. that's the detachment rule for Death Watch. It's a strong detachment. I yeah. think it gives you to tactical flexibility, yeah. similar to the Gladius. Um, yeah, it's. I think it's great. Yeah, I, I agree. really like it. All right. Well, shall we look at some enhancements? Let's do that. But before we continue, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, The Outpost. If you're looking for a great deals on your miniatures, paints and gaming supplies, we've got you covered. Their wide variety of exceptional service makes them the go-to destination for all hobby needs. So don't wait, check out The Outpost today. Link in the description below. The first enhancement is the Thief of Secrets. Oh, um, it's, cool. it's a cheap one. It's kind of like a weapon upgrade on okay. a single model. Yep. Um, so what you do is basically you improve the strength, damage and armor penetration characteristics of the bearer's melee weapons by one. Okay. okay, right, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, so if you kill any enemy models yep. in melee with that, yep. that character, then you're gonna add two to the strength, damage, and armor penetration characteristics until the end of the battle. Okay, right, and is there restrictions on who this can go on? It's just Adeptus Astartes model only. Probably the best person to put this on might well be the Gravis Captain. Okay, yeah. Because he's actually got two, he's got like an extra attack yeah. melee weapon, yeah. which would also be buffed by this, because it says all of their melee weapons. Oh, wow. So he would be getting, so that the five attacks for the normal power fist, yes. plus the, the two from that, right? Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, no, there's no attacks on this. Oh, it's so just no, strength, it's... damage, and armor penetration. Ah, yes. right. So okay. you'd have the fist would go to strength 10, yeah. AP 4, damage 4, <laughs> okay, which is. Pretty that's, that's gnarly. Nuts. Yeah. Um, and then the the extra attacks weapon, yeah. even though you can't modify the number of attacks made with it, yeah. you can modify its characteristics. Yeah, so you're just getting an extra attack really on yeah. top, aren't you? So you could get your chainsword, the extra the fancy chainsword. Oh, that damage strength four. six, AP three, damage four. Mike, please take that. That is so, so <laughs> this pretty good. I might have to look at my list and uh yeah, because we've got a tournament coming up yes. as of filming this. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna use Deathwatch. Can you take it and paint the guys a flesh terror? Um, I could, yeah. Uh, yeah it would probably yeah. work well because the chainsaw on that guy is massive. It is. Um, but yeah. yeah, no, mine's a salamander, unfortunately. But that does make sense because he's a master artisan. Anyway, anyway, um, so that's the Thief of Secrets. Solid. I actually think it's really solid. I think it's better than people might expect it to be. Yes. Yeah, yeah really, really, really Definitely. cool. Um, and actually quite good on a character that's not very good in combat. You suddenly yeah. make them actually contribute. Yeah, damn. Um, like a, maybe a biologist. Yeah. Um, or the lieutenant with combi weapon, or you know that kind of thing. Exactly. I mean, yeah. buffing your melee is never a bad option, right? Exactly. So exactly. Great. All right. Second one. So the second one's the osseous key or osseous key. You know. I'm not going to comment if you care. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is a watchmaster or tech marine only. Mm -hmm. um, and what this is, is in, at the start of your opponent's shooting phase, you select one enemy vehicle unit, right. vehicle only, excluding Titanic. 
Okay. It doesn't work against knights, unfortunately, big ones. Um, within 12 inches, invisible to the bearer. Mm -hmm. They have to take a leadership test. Okay. If it's passed, they're minus one to all of their hit rolls. Right. If it's failed, they're not eligible to shoot that phase. Okay. All right. So I can see where it would be useful. Yeah. The one question I have is, can you use the insane bravery strat on that? So no, because it's an out of phase. So you can only ever use insane bravery mm -hmm. in the battle shock step of your command phase. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. So there's no way for them to just auto ignore no. that rule. No. Okay. So that that makes it a little bit better in my eyes. Yeah. Um, it's it's restricted because it's vehicle only. Yeah. And twelve inches invisible. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't work on Titanic, which is probably the main place you'd want you'd to want use it. it. You'd probably want it more, especially against in. 10th edition at the time of filming where knights are very, very popular. Yes. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure about that one. I probably wouldn't take it, if I'm honest. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a bit niche. Mm. All right, the third one? The third one. So the next two are absolute bangers. Okay. They're, oh. they're auto-include. They're expensive. So you, you, when you're writing a Death Watch list, consider putting 100 points, as, points aside just for enhancement. Okay, right. Um, so the Beacon Angelus. What does okay. this one do? So models in the bearer's unit have the deep strike ability. Okay, right. Cool. So remember, normally, if you put a character in a unit that has deep strike, but the character doesn't have it, yep. they can't deep strike, yep. and vice versa. Okay. So now you attach this to a unit, mm -hmm. and everybody has deep strike. Okay. So best yeah. place for this is obviously on a unit that can't deep strike. Yep. Um, and I would choose the Gravis kill team, the Indomitor kill team, which we'll go into a bit later. Yep. Um, but these guys are very meaty, but they're a bit slow. So being able to just... Deep strike, yeah, um, fantastic. In addition, you can target the bearer's unit yep. with the rapid ingress stratagem for zero CP. Oh wow! Okay, right. That's just buffed that up massively. So the tactical flexibility with that is mm -hmm. amazing. Um, yeah. So when you're writing your death watch list, yeah, think of this big, powerful unit that yep. you can rapid ingress for free. Yeah. Your opponent can't touch it. Yeah. Um, and you can just go and do whatever you want in the turn. Oh, that's... It's a really, really strong. That's pattern. horrific. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I like... Okay, yeah, I see why you're saying that's an auto-include. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, awesome. Right, fourth one or last one? Okay, get ready. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm ready, Mike. <laughs> the Tome of the Ectoclades. Watchmaster or Captain model only. Okay. Once per battle, after you've selected an enemy unit using the Oath of Moment ability in your command phase, yep. you can use this enhan enhancement. When you do, you select a second enemy unit and you essentially get Oath of Moment against them as well. So you get reroll hits and reroll wounds. So once per battle, you can Oath of Moment two enemy units. So this is a little bit different to Gilliman's rule where... Yes. So you're just getting it against both units That's at right. the same time. For the time. whole... Uh, until the start of your next command phase. So, so for you, the whole battle round, essentially. But that, the idea of Oath of Moment is you pick a target mm -hmm. and you're aiming to get rid of that target. Yes. So basically, this is saying two... Two units yeah. are going bye-bye. It's, it's a real good book. The, That's the a time, knockout punch. Yeah, that is... That's a bang. New York good Times night. bestseller. Oh, <laughs> New York Times bestseller. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Okay, Mike, right? <laughs> the, right. Good, good enhancement, mate. Yeah, good, good enhancement. enhancement. Yeah. Yeah. Very expensive, but cool. very very much worth it. Yeah. Um, That's the enhancement. I, I think bangers. If you don't want the Thief of Secrets, fair enough. I'm going to take it because yeah. it's awesome. Um, it's got yeah, a cool name. Really, really solid set of enhancements. Yeah, I think one of them, so the Osseus key, I don't think you're really going to see much play with. Nah. It's very niche. It's only going to work against a couple of opponents, really. Yeah. Um, but those last two that you just mentioned are solid. Um, yes. I, I like it. Okay, right. Um, yep, that's made me scared for, um, at present time, we are going to be playing Death Watch on stream. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty terrified of that. Moment. Yeah, I would be. Yeah? yeah All right, I would well, be. should we look at some strats? Let's do that. Let's take a moment to appreciate Colorforge, our fantastic sponsor. Their range of spray paints has become our go-to for making our miniatures come to life quickly and efficiently. The quality and variety of colors they offer are truly unmatched, providing a smooth application for stunning effects every time. Check out Colorforge for your next hobby project. The first stratagem is uh, the very well-known Armor of Contempt. Oh, what does this one do, Mike? Well, <laughs> um, uh, once you're selected as a target yep. in your opponent's shooting phase, or the fight phase, Okay. then you can reduce the AP characteristic of incoming um, attacks by one to your unit. So it's a nice bit of extra resilience. Yeah. Um, Death Watch have the largest Gravis squad available 
across yep. all Space Marines. Yep. Their toughness six with three wounds each. Obviously, you know, we'll go through them a bit more detail later, but mm -hmm. being able to reduce the AP on 30 plus wounds of models is. It's, no, Armor Protect nuts. is, is it's, a standout in every single it's Space incredible. Marine. It's one. incredible. It, it's, it's really, really, really powerful. Yeah. I mean, when I was playing my Blood Angels, I. Mm -hmm. I think that stratagem alone I used every yeah. single turn. Yeah. Um, it, it genuinely is a great stratagem. Yeah. Don't need to discuss too much about yeah. it. But I will say, um, I did find out that you can't use it on Overwatch. No, you can't. Can. Yeah, exactly. Can't. So just yeah. watch watch out for that because yeah. that's something I learned. So opponent's shooting phase and yeah. the fight phase only. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Well, second one. Second one is adaptive tactics. Okay. Another one okay. in the Space Marine book. So it's, it's very similar. So in your command phase, you can select up to two kill team units yep. or one Adeptus Astartes unit. Okay. This is a theme you'll see with the rest of the stratagems. Yep. Um, and you can pick the Furore, the Malaeus or Pagatus tactics and they get that one instead of the one that's currently active for the army, if, if any. Right. Um, so basically you can pick to have sustained hits one on your unit. Yep. Um, or lethal hits or um, precision. precision on critical hits. Um, the precision one's probably where you look at it. Yes. Because there's the epic challenge core stratagem, mm -hmm. which gives you precision on your character's melee attacks. Yep. Whereas if you use this, you're getting precision on your entire yep. unit on all of their sixes to hit. So um, that's, it's really interesting. Really yep. good. Good, good stratagem. Yeah, definitely. All right, third one. The next one's Teleportarium. I really like this one. Mm -hmm. it, it suits the Death Watch playstyle later. So at the end of your opponent's fight phase, okay. up to two kill team units from your army or one other Adeptus Astartes infantry unit, yep. you can remove them from the battle, right. okay, provided they're not in engagement range of any enemy units. Oh, okay, right, cool. So you can remove them from the battlefield and then they can come back from reserves nine inches horizontally away. So they can basically deep strike in your following reinforcement step. Okay, right. I've seen, this is quite a theme across quite a few armies now I'm seeing, mm -hmm. where you can just take your unit off and mm -hmm. just bring them back on in your next step. Yes. Great flexibility, especially on stuff like, so could, you could use it on the Gravis Marines, right? You could, right? yes. So you can use it on two kill teams. So potentially, you okay. could just pick up two kill teams from one side of the board yep. that have just destroyed whatever's in front of them yep. and then put them on the other side of the board in your next turn. Great for it's tactical play. Really strong. Yeah, re really, really it, strong. I like that. Really annoying as yeah. well because there's a, there are some armies that rely on things like sticky objectives. Yes. Where they leave the objective that they control, but they still count as controlling yeah. it. And you can now mess with them because you can take a unit and put it back on that. Objective. Yeah, it gives you so much um, tactical flexibility. Yeah, I think it's really nice. That's a theme with this army, right? Yeah. It's It's just being able to adapt to any situation, and it's, yeah, I exactly. really like that. Exactly. I really like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fourth one. Fourth one, so this is the first of three sort of ammunition style okay. stratagems. Yeah, cool. So special issue ammunition is a theme across the Death Watch from yes. previous editions yep. as well, um, where they have like fancy weapons yep. um, to deal with different threats. Mm -hmm. So the first one here is Hellfire Rounds. I like now, that. the card is incorrect if you've got the card that you're looking at because it has been sort of um, FAQ'd by Games Workshop. Oh. It was a little bit too powerful. Yeah, I know the one you're on. I, I say a little bit. It was incredibly too powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So in your shooting phase, okay. you can select up to two kill team units or uh, an Adeptus Astartes unit, yep. so not just infantry, interestingly. Yep. Um, until the end of the phase, their ranged weapons have anti-infantry 2+, plus and anti-monster 5+. plus. So previously you could use this with devastating wounds weapons. Yeah. Now this doesn't work on devastating wounds weapons. Okay, okay? good. Um, so what that means is if you do have a unit that has maybe one guy with a devastating wounds weapon, yep. you can still use it on the unit but the one model with that devastating wound yep. weapon wouldn't get the effect of it. Okay, right, so you yeah. just don't get it at all? You Not... don't get it at all on a model that is using a devastating wounds weapon. Okay, right, yeah. okay, so it just cancels out the rule of devastating wounds. That's... Yeah, you basically just don't get this. Right, okay. Yeah, so you keep devastating wounds, you just yeah. don't get this. If that, oh, okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, 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 that makes yeah. sense. Okay, well, I think that's a good balance um, interaction there because yes. obviously triggering devastating, because everyone who doesn't know, anti um, triggers critical hits critical on, wounds, on yes. critical wounds sorry on the wound roll which it specifies which is a two against infantry here exactly so then when you compare that or combine that sorry with devastating wounds which converts all the damage into mortal wounds on yeah. a critical wound you're doing mortal wounds on two pluses against infantry yes yeah but thankfully that's not a thing though yeah exactly. um, however needless to say this is an incredibly powerful stratagem yeah because you're wounding incredibly powerful you're wounding infantry on twos you're wounding all infantry on twos regardless of if they've got a minus one to wound on them which yep. a lot of like bodyguarding units yeah, have yeah. um you know toughness six custodies whatever aberrants <laughs> whatever aberrant who exactly so things like you and the fact that you can choose two kill teams for this 
It's yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, however, I will say that if you've got something like a captain, mm -hmm. um, that if you're familiar with Space Marines, um, they can use a stratagem for zero command points, yep. even if it's already been used. Um, if you used it on him, he would only be able to select his own unit. Yes, yeah, so you're not getting wording. four units. You wouldn't, exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Okay, yeah. right, that, that's good. Yeah. I like that. All right, brilliant um, stratagem there. Yeah, fantastic stratagem. Uh, you can't use a stratagem on a unit that is being affected by the other ammunition stratagems. Okay, all right, so we're, gonna, yeah. we're not going to be able to like combine it with no. other... No. Well, that makes sense. Otherwise... You can't put two bullets in a chamber, mate. So, yeah. Unless it's a double barrel shotgun, but we don't have to. Anyway. Anyway, um, going, on to <laughs> <laughs> going into stratagem number five. Mm -hmm. This is Kraken Rounds. I like the name. So, um, I haven't mentioned this, but they're all one command point, all of these stratagems. A one command point. Okay, cool. Um, which is great for buffing two units. For yes. One command point. Yeah, definitely. So, cracking rounds, same thing, two kill team units, um, cool. shooting phase. Their range weapons um, gain an extra AP. Mm -hmm. So, all of their range weapons, extra AP, and plus six inches to their range. That's really handy. I like that. Cool. Yeah. This is really, really good for deep striking and getting yeah. a, an angle on someone. Yep. Um, great for get, making use of rapid fire because you can increase rapid fire range. Yes. So things like the Death Watch Frag Cannon yep. gets a lot of use out of this. Uh, and obviously any of your flamers that might have AP already and ignores cover, getting an extra AP yes. is pretty grim. Um, yeah, and of course, you can use this on any Adeptus Society's unit as well, potentially. So, so could you use it on a Black You could use it on the Black Star. You could use it on a Land Raider Redeemer Ooh. Um, to go to AP3 damage to ignores cover flamers. Ooh, I just shivered. Um, that's that's um, horrifying. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so okay. another great stratagem. Yep. You've, you've yep. got all the best ammunition. You're hogging it. You don't like do. it. We right. do. All the best ammunition. Right. What's the last bit of ammunition that you stole? Uh, dragon fire rounds. Stole? But yeah, we definitely didn't make these out of alien Well, where, stuff. how come the Blood Angels don't have these guns? Because you're not cool. They are. Um, right. Shooting phase. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Two kill team units, blah, blah, blah. Or one Adeptus Astartes unit. Yep. Um, range weapons gain assault and ignores cover. Okay, right. So where are we going to see this? Um, so this is great for if you need a unit to be eligible to shoot. Okay. After yep. it's advanced. Ah, okay. okay. So, so we're looking mission play here. Yeah, mission play here. Also, potentially, if you've got short range things like flamers, yep. being able to advance and just shoot them yeah, true. is really, really handy. Mm -hmm. um, and then the ignores cover is great for... Well, everything, really. Yeah. Um, ignores cover is just really super useful. However, bear in mind that ignores cover and having an extra AP yep. can sometimes end up with the same effect. So whether you want the extra six inch range or you want to be able to advance and do it, mm -hmm. you kind of got the, the option there. Yeah, so yeah, most it's definitely. A, it's a flexible one. Um, I don't know if it's as good as the other two ammunitions, but we'll see. I guess I guess play, I, play time, we'll see. Yeah. I, w I much prefer, um, I think the Kraken rounds is, is great. Yes. Um, the Hellfire rounds just... Insane. Is, is, I, although it is situational depend on the opponent. Because you're, uh, yeah, you're not going to use it against Shikari or... Like, I mean, you guard. might. You well, might do them on twos instead of threes, right? I guess so, so yeah. You, you might. Yeah. You might. Anyway. Um, but yeah, against knights, lots of tanks, you're not going to use it. Yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah. Great, great, great strategies. Si yeah, I think all, all six are really, really good stratagems. Mm. Um, it suits the army playstyle as well because it gives you a lot of tactical flexibility. Yes. I think I've said it so many times now, but it is just a common theme in the army. It's, it's just yeah, being able to deal with any target in a given turn. Yeah, is how Death Watch are meant meant to function. Yeah. The the Gladius Strike Force, which we talked about comparing, that one allows you to do um, to like fall back and shoot or advance yeah. and charge that kind of thing. Yeah, that is flexible. It's a different kind of flexible. Yeah, exactly. This is dealing with different targets. That one is being where you want to be on the field. Exactly. I think this one suits Death Watch playstyle a lot more, mm -hmm. um, purely for the weapon options as yes. well. I think because yeah. you have a much better a weapon uh, range on these units, mm -hmm. so I think yeah, this this um, the Black Spear Task Force is definitely the way to go. I like it. Yeah, I like it. All right. Well, shall we look at some units? Let's do that. Yeah. With the release of Warhammer 40,000 10th Edition at Vanguard Tactics, we've put together the perfect course for you. If you're already playing 9th Edition, but you want to seamlessly transition into the new edition, leave behind everything you know about 9th and understand everything you need to know about 10th, then this short course is going to be ideal. We break down all the complexities and give you step-by-step -step guidance on how to really make the most from 10th edition. We're going to help you understand all the basics of the game and then some top tips along the way to help you really get the most from your army and your playing experience. And if that's something you want to do and get signed up on our short course which you can study in your own time, then do check out the links below and get signed up to our Accelerator program. Okay Mike, so who is the first unit you want to look at? Uh, I have to look at the Watchmaster. 
Okay. So there are not many very like unique to Death Watch units. Yep. The Death Watch, the Death, the Watchmaster. <laughs> The Watchmaster um, is like the Chapter Master. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, so this guy is auto include. Yeah. I'll say that now. He's auto include. If you're taking Death Watch, get this guy. He's really cool. I love the model. Does he come it's... like that with the birds? With... No, that's my edition. That's your... bird. Yeah. Oh. I obviously is a very cool model, so I wanted to make it even cooler. Oh, look at um, you, little modeler. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, like I do it. like a bit of that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, this guy, I mean, two up save. Base, uh, he's he's decent. Like his stat lines, yeah, pretty, pretty standard. Space Baller. Marine, um, combat's not bad. Six attacks, okay. So six AP, two D three damage. Okay, so yeah. It's not bad. The D three damage is kind of meh, but yeah, um, yeah, not bad. More importantly, um, while he's leading a unit, they can shoot and declare a charge in a turn in which they fell back or advanced. Okay, so boom, that already gets rid of part of Gladius Task Force. Anyway. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Okay, I like that. That's that's really really good. Strong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then once per battle, um, after your opponent uses a stratagem, if this model is your warlord and is on the battlefield, make him your warlord, guys. Yeah. Um, can use this ability until the end of the battle. Increase the cost of that stratagem to your opponent by one command point. Okay. So this is what we call a vet, right? Which is where you, you are increasing. Yeah. Um, so it's, that's not the universal rule. It's just no, something it's just that what we generally we call generally it. call it. Yeah. yeah. It's it's where you're increasing the, uh, your opponent's stratagem. Cost by cost one. By one, and yeah. I think it's such a strong ability. Um, I, I think we've seen across a lot of tournaments now. A lot of people are taking like the Calidus Assassin. Yes. Um, to to use this. If um, you want to be really mean, you could take a Calidus Assassin in addition to a Watchmaster, two, that, that and you could affect two enemy stratagems. Yeah. That's pretty nasty. Yeah. I haven't done that personally because I just love the the, the models. Yeah. I, I, but I, don't think you I need definitely them. would look at it. <laughs> yeah. If uh, you know, if, if, if your opponent's only really got six stratagems and you suddenly make two of them unusable, that's well. Don't forget, it's core stratagems strong. too, right? Yeah, there's core stratagems as well. So Overwatch. Yeah. You want a CP reroll? Huh? You got to spend two CP now. Yeah. 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 Counter offensive. Yeah. yeah. Counter offensive. Yeah. Three CP. No one's yeah. going to be doing that, are they? Man? It's a super strong ability. Yeah. Super strong ability. Um, this guy can lead Death Watch veterans and a Proteus kill team. So they're your firstborn. Okay. Um, Death Watch guys. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Cool. Uh, but bear in mind, he can't lead anything from the main Space Marine section. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I so like it. All no right. Stone Guard veterans or anything. But yeah. Auto include. Yeah. Auto Great. include. Love him. All right. Next one. Um, so, first of the kill teams. Yeah. So, there's two kill teams I'll talk about in a bit more detail. Yep. And then there's two kill teams that I'll just gloss over real quick. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, the first one is the Proteus kill team. Okay. And which My one is that? Favorite kill team. This is the first born kill team. Okay, okay. So if you're looking at the table um, for Jord here. Geez, obviously, you guys will have a cool cinematic, but we've got some there and some over here. Oh, we've got my one. That's me there. Yes. So I've got one guy, the Blood Angel with the big heavy thunder hammer. Um, is is Jord? I didn't. I didn't say it was Jord. He just decided that he's Jord. Anyway. Call me. Um, so obviously he dies first. Uh, so Proteus kill team. Um, <laughs> Bit harsh, Mike. <laughs> Proteus. <laughs> Proteus kill team, all right. So unit composition, kill teams are weird, all right. Okay, so tell me how they work, mate. Okay, so unit composition, 10 models maximum. Cool. So you can have five to 10 kill team veterans. Yep. So the first five is non-negotiable. You have to have five veterans. Okay. And these are just kind of like normal space marines. Yeah. Then you can have up to four kill team veterans with jump packs, mm -hmm. up to two kill team bikers, and up to four kill team terminators. But obviously right. to a cap of 10. Yes. Right. right. Now, um, with this unit, it costs 330 points for, or as it stands, for a whole 10. Okay. Regardless of what you put in there. So if you're okay. taking this unit, take the best stuff you can. Yeah. Because it doesn't make sense to, you know, depending how you want to play the game, obviously, if you, mm -hmm. if you want a really cool thematic thing, then sure, take two bikes and, and three dudes with jump packs. Yeah, sure. Um, but what you really probably want to be doing is, is getting some Terminators in there. Yes. Because they're really strong, really tough. Um, they're tanky, right? They're really tanky. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, yeah. Chuck those guys in, um, and they will cost pretty much the same point. Attached unit, if a character can join a Vanguard Veteran Squad, it can mm -hmm. be attached to this unit instead. Okay. Brilliant. So, cool. you're talking like captains? Captains, librarians, captains. firstborn stuff, basically. Yeah. So stuff nice. that isn't Primaris, if yeah. you're not familiar with the firstborn terminology. Yep. Yeah. And the Watchmaster can go with them. And right? the Watchmaster can go with cool. these, yes. Um, these guys have the rule Proteus Doctrines. Okay. Um, if they attack a target that is not below half strength, they get plus one to their hit roll. 
Okay, right. I like Which it. Which is great because it means that you just remove the unit and therefore you don't have to worry about it being below half strength. Yeah, that's... Because you um, just got plus one to hit, so you just kill it. That's amazing. It's really strong, especially because they're all style weapons um, they hit on fours base. So for ah. me, my favourite weapons, the Death Watch Thunder Hammer. <laughs> okay. This makes me sad. It's <laughs> so cool. Um, like there's artwork of a guy with the jump pack yeah. using one of these and, and, and smacking out a Tau Crisis suit. Really cool. Oh, well, I want to see. Can you show it's, me that picture? I will after? show you. I'll show you oh, afterwards. Yeah. That's what dreams um, are made of. Yeah. <laughs> so three attacks, <laughs> hits on fours. So threes with this. Yep. And then obviously you've got your oath, a moment, whatever you want to do. Cool. Strength 10. Okay. AP 2. Right. Damage 3. Devastating wounds. And you can have four of these in a squad of 10. Black okay. 3 damage thunder hammer. You can have two per five models in the unit. So even if you've got Terminators and other stuff in the unit, you can okay. still have two per five total models. That's beautiful. It is a beautiful thing, isn't it? It is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Um, yeah. Ow. That hits you. I miss the days of damage three thunder hammers. <laughs> yeah, Wait, I bet you, you stole do. Them. I've still got them. <laughs> well, mine used to be damage four in uh, ninth edition. Oh, um, boo-hoo. Which was a whole <laughs> nother level. Um, okay, and then the, one of my other favorite weapons is the frag cannon. Okay, right. You've told me about this off camera. Yeah. I think let's let's tell the world how beautiful these well, frag cannons are. I think it's fantastic. So it's blast. Yep. It's heavy. Yep. It's rapid fire D3. Yep. Okay, 18 inch range. Okay, so we stopped with rules. Okay. Right. Oh, sorry, I thought you were oh, carrying oh, on. No, no, no. no that, right, that, okay, that's, right, that's all you got right now. Okay, cool. Um, hits on fours. Yep. Oh, so threes if you're targeting something yep. that isn't already dead pretty much. Strength seven, AP one, two damage. D3 shots. So if you're within half range, which is nine, yep. or you could use the stratagem to add six to your range and make yep. it within 12, yep. good for deep strike, mm -hmm. um, you're going to get two D3 shots per guy, okay. plus any additional ones for blast. Yes. Okay, so that's two D3 plus four if you're shooting against a 20-person yep. unit. Yep. Um, hitting on threes, strength seven, AP uh, two if you use the stratagem for extra range. Okay. Two damage. That's... Pretty gnarly, right? It's the ultimate marine killer. Yeah. Uh, well, and any horde, I guess, too. Well, yeah, um, I mean, the amount of shots you get in Micah, <laughs> that's, that's insane. It's really, really good. Yeah, that's um, that's gone under the radar. You can have bit. four in the unit. I was going to say how many you can have. So you can have four of them. You can have four Is in the unit. Is that this guy here? Yes. Yeah, so that's, that's you'll see some frag cannons on screen, oh. I'm sure. Wow, okay, that's that's a chunky cannon. It is a chunky cannon. Oh. So, um, yeah. Obviously, they've got a bunch of other weapons as well. But they're the spotlight ones, um, But right? these are the ones that I've chosen to sign up, sort of highlight. Okay, no, I like that. I think that's a great, great unit. I mean, you've yeah. summarised that pretty clearly, so I, I think I understand how kill teams work now, mate. Good, so, cool. Yeah. That's Excellent. great. Excellent. All right, next All right, one. so um, the next kill team is the Indomitor kill team. Okay. This is the Gravis one. Okay, so we got our chunky boys here and yes. your beautiful Lamenta who makes me Thank sad you. every time I see him. Thank you. <laughs> um, so with these guys, uh, again, it's the 10 model maximum. Cool. You can take Kill Team Heavy Intercessor with Power Fist. Okay. You would use the Aggressor model for this. Yep, cool. You can take a Kill Team Heavy Intercessor with Melter Rifles. You'd use the Eradicator, Eradicator model for this. And Kill Team Heavy Intercessors with Jump Packs. You use the Inceptors model for this. Cool, right. Okay, so if you're confused about how Death Watch works with the cards, there's not like a specific kit. Right. There is this. Yep. You just use those models and slot them into the team. Okay, and you can have heavy intercessors in there as well, right? Yes, so you have to base start with five heavy intercessors. Right, okay. Yeah. Cool. cool. Nice. All right. Um, any special weapons that these guys can have or um, standard loadouts? It's pretty much standard loadouts, but you can have kind of the best of the options. Cool. So you're, if you have one Eradicator in there, mm. you can give him a multi mower. Normally, an Eradicator squad has yeah. one per three. Yeah. But you can just give this to this guy straight away. Cool. Um, which is great. Uh, but you can only have two guys with power fists, so bear that in mind. So two aggressors. Two aggressors, yeah. Right, cool. Um, their ability is, uh, if they're attacking in their understanding strength, they get plus one to hit. Okay, so the first one we looked at was above... or at If they're starting, targeting target, someone that's, yeah. below, that's not below half, they get plus one to hit. And these ones... These guys, if they've lost any models, yeah. they're going to be plus one to hit. Okay, so you, that's a good little yeah, combination with exactly. these two These units, are kind of like right. your anvil, yeah. whereas the other guys go in and are your hammer. Essentially. Oh, that's a great right? analogy. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, if they're below half strength, yep. you add one to the wound roll as well. Oh. So plus one to hit and wound with. Bear in mind, this is 10 models. 
Toughness six, three wounds each. Ouch. So you're unlikely to kill the unit straight away. So it, pretty quickly you're going to get your um, your bonus plus one to hit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. That make that's that's a really solid unit. Mm -hmm. um, and I recommend the Gravis Captain with them. Yeah, I was going to say, what character are you putting with that? Yeah, Gravis Captain. You could put Biologist in there as well as the Gravis oh, Captain. Oh, the lethal hits. And then you could Ooh. give the Biologist the Deep Strike, Beacon Angelus, and give the Captain the Thief of Secrets. <laughs> and you've got this. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Okay, Mike. Try it out. That's, that's, Try a, out. That's, that's a very nice yep. little trick you've it's, got there. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. Right. Um, um, next one. Yeah, so two more kill teams. There's the Fortis kill team, which is your um, regular intercessors. So your Primaris one, yeah. Your Primaris guys. So you have five intercessors, five intercessors with plasma incinerators using the Hellblaster models, cool. Five intercessors with heavy bolt pistols using the assault intercessor models. Yep, cool. And then five kill team, sorry, up to two kill team outriders. So it's zero to four of the plasma and zero to four of the okay, chain swords. Right. Two outriders. And you can put obviously. outriders in, which obviously then count as infantry when they're in their squad, right? Yes, yeah, exactly. Cool. Exactly. Nice. Yes. So that's what we get with them. Um, their rule isn't quite as good. So okay. for them, each time they attack a unit that is below half strength, add one to the hit roll. Okay. Um, now for me, if they're below half strength already, they're probably quite easy to kill anyway. Yeah. So I don't know if I need that. Yeah, sure. And I mean, the weapon loadouts on these aren't as it's, compelling as the others. No, exactly. Which I think you're you're stuck, right. stuck kind of with the plasma and then bolters. Yeah, I think the standout yeah. obviously is just your... Plasma, yeah. um, I can't remember what they're called now. What did you say? They plasma were incinerators. Incinerators, that's yes. the ones. Yes, yeah. I don't even use them, so. Yeah. yeah, the best way to go is get plasma incinerators, give them an infantry 2+. plus. Oh, okay. And then you've got some yeah, that's really high AP, two damage shots. Any characters you would put with that one? Probably things like a, maybe a librarian. So, um, a pinball. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Nice. But um, it's probably not the one you're going to go to. Cool. For Death Watch. Next one. Spectrus kill team is Phobos stuff. Oh, uh, yes, your sneaky okay. boys. Sneaky boys, um, they do have infiltrators. Cool. And scout six. Okay. Oh, okay. So pretty cool. Um, you start with five infiltrators, yep. not incursors. Not that it matters because it's really just the model. Yeah, sure. Um, so you can have two infiltrators with bolt sniper rifles. Nice. Now, I assume you're meant to use the eliminator guys, even yes. though they have a different base size. But you're meant to use the eliminators here for this one. So you okay. Can, you cool. can put two of those in. You can have two infiltrators with jump packs. You'd use the suppressor yes. models for these. Yeah, sure. Um, you can have four infiltrators with oculus bolt carbines. This is where you'd use the incursor Incursors. models. Yeah. Um, and you can have up to four infiltrators with combat knives, which is Reavers. So I like Reavers. Reavers in as well. Reavers are cool. Um, yeah, these are cool. You can have your Helix Gauntlet for feeling no pain, and you can get CP back with a comms array. Nice. Their ability is at the end of your opponent's turn. Yep. Um, if they're more than six inches from all enemy units, cool. um, they can go back into reserve and come back in your next reinforcement step. Oh, so they've got that inbuilt um, strap. They've got that inbuilt strap, essentially. Okay. Yes. All right, that's, that's quite it's nice. Not bad. It's, it's not bad. It not just bad. means you're not spending the CP a turn. So maybe, yeah. would you yeah. recommend a small unit of these on the table? Um, you could do a small unit. Um, there are builds where you take a Librarian and Phobos armor, okay. which makes the unit untargetable unless the enemy is within 12 inches. Oh, so they get loan operative they in, in a sense. They kind of get loan operative in a sense, yeah, right, exactly. Okay. And obviously on a big 10-person unit, that's, that's, that's quite useful. Yeah, it's quite pretty, useful. pretty nice, actually. I like um, that. Yeah, so that's that's all of the kill teams. Um, all of the kill teams are only OC1. So bear okay. that in mind. They're, right. not, they're not OC2 or anything. Is there any way of increasing that? You could put Ancients in there. Okay, you, cool. you, You're probably not likely to, to do that. Yeah. Some of them can't even have Ancients. Oh, um, right. Okay. It's only really, I yeah. think, the, the Fortis normal Primaris can, that can have an Ancient anyway. Right, yeah. Um, yeah, because yeah, the, yeah. the Firstborn Ancient now is locked to a Command Squad, exactly, right? Exactly, it's in a Command Squad. Okay. Sadly. Yeah. All right, um, uh, next unit? Yeah, so the next unit, we'll talk about the Death Watch Veterans. These okay. are the, the battle line. I've lost the card somewhere. Where have I put it? Come on, you fool. Too many cards, mate. There's too many. There's, too, think, there's not even that many units, cards. Mate, and, uh, <laughs> you've got are. five units and you've lost a card. <laughs> so, Death Watch Veterans, yep. um, these are great. OC2. Yep. They're basically just like the five that you would take in a Proteus kill team. Cool. Um, you can have the four hammers. You can have the four frag cannons. Mm -hmm. You can also have four Infernus heavy bolters. So that's the spotlight weapon maybe for these yeah, guys. Cool. Um, also, I guess you could have it on the Proteus as well if yeah. you wanted. Cool. Um, so this is both a heavy bolter right. and a heavy flamer rolled into one weapon. Yeah, may as well. And you can fire both at the same time. It's a bit of hobbycraft, that, isn't it? You just yeah, slap you just two together. Slap two together. Yeah, sure, yeah. it works. Yeah. Power of imagination. <laughs> cool, right. <laughs> what do they do? What's their special rule, mate? Um, so each time they make an attack, reroll hit rolls a one. Okay, nice. If they're targeting a unit that doesn't have Imperium or Chaos keywords, you reroll the hit instead. Okay, so we're seeing a thematic That's role a more here. thematic Yeah, role. alien yes. hunters, you get yes. a reroll against Xenos factions. Exactly. 
cool. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I like yeah. it. So yeah, good unit. As I said, spotlight weapons are yeah. the heavy weapon. And who you put in furnace? Um, to lead these, you could have a whole number of different put characters. The watch watch master. master could go in there. Yeah. Um, you could put a regular captain in there to make use of that zero command point yeah, stratagem. Sure. sure. Um, yeah, you could even, because their battle line, have an Inquisitor, which is a very thematic way of doing it. Ah, okay. Um, I like that. I've actually done that for the stream that we've got with... with oh, the yes. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah that's, that, that's quite cool. You are on your Inquisitor hype right now. I am. I am right yeah. now. Yeah, I've just finished the Eisenhorn books, if anyone's familiar. Cool. Check them out. They're really good. Yeah, let us know in the comments if you've read that. I'm sure Michael will have a conversation. Mm. Right. Next unit? Um, yeah, so we've got a few more specific Death Watch things, oh, like Watch Captain Artemis. There's more units? I thought we ran out already, mate. No. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so um, Artemis lets you use a stratagem on a unit, um, on his unit, even if it's already been used on someone else, mm -hmm. um, and even if his unit's battle-shocked, but it's not for nice. zero CP. Oh, okay, so it's a little bit different to the Captain yeah. one. And it's a different rule as well. Yeah. So if you had two command points, you could have a Captain use it for free after yeah. you've used it on him and another unit. Oh, so you could use a stratagem three times? Three times, potentially, yeah. Okay, cheeky. So, not bad. Um, and then uh, if he dies, he'll get um, he'll fight again before he dies. Oh, fight on death, fight built on, in. Essentially, yeah. Cool. He's, he's, nice. he's not bad overall. Yeah? Yeah. Then we've got a named squad. Oh, I like this. An I've actually, epic hero squad. Yeah, yeah this, this has got some of the coolest like characters in it. Yeah. Like, in terms of like the models of them. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I really like these. So, what do these guys do then? So, this is Kill Team Cassius, yeah, um, uh, led by Chaplain Cassius. Cool. Okay, uh, which is why it's got the character keyword. Yep. All right. Now, while Chaplain Cassius is leading the unit, yep. melee weapons have the devastating wounds ability. Okay. In the unit. Right. Um, and in addition, you can reroll battle shocks and leisure tests for the unit. And okay. he, this unit can attach to a unit. Is that right? Or no, no, no. So oh, this so is a just, standalone just... kill team with okay. just Cassius leading it. It's very, very cool. fixed and inflexible. This this unit. Okay. On the whole, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, now, what it has is a complete variety of weapons because there's there's a whole bunch of sort of yeah. named little veteran guys in there. Um, it's got everyone under the sun. Like, it's a whole characters. mix. There's also a librarian in the squad. Yeah. Um, that oh. isn't a character. He's a blood raven as well. He is, is a blood raven. It's really cool. I like that. Yeah. So nice. Great models. I think it's 255 points total, which is not bad. No, for, for, a, a, for a whole kill team. team. Yeah. For 10 um, people. But the weapons are a bit eclectic, so you might have to think about how you're okay. going to use them on the on right. the table. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. Cool little unit. Um, and a great box set to get if you're starting Death Watch because you can use the bits on yes. any other. Exactly. Um, you could mix veterans. them around your squads, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's cool. That's cool. All right. All right. Um, should we talk about your baby? Yes, my baby. This is probably one of my favorite. It probably is my favorite Death Watch unit. <laughs> anyway. Um, so. <laughs> so the Corvus Black Star, the second <laughs> coolest <laughs> aircraft in the game. I think it is the After coolest. the Valkyrie. Nah, this is the coolest, mate. Um, so this can transport... So the wording here is... This is up for debate amongst the Death Watch players. Okay. Um, the transport capacity is 12 Adeptus Society's infantry models. Yep. Or one kill team unit. Okay. Each jump pack, Gravis, or Terminator model takes up the space of two models. And right. each mounted model takes up the space of three models. Okay. All right. right. Yep. So the thing that's up for debate is can you put a whole Indomitor kill team in there because it says it has a transport capacity of 12 Adeptus Astartes infantry models or one kill team unit. And the Indomitor is the Gravis? That's the Gravis ones, yes. Right, sorry. and they count as three? Uh, they say? count as two. They count as two. This. Right, so you could put a five man in, right? So this is, this is right. Okay, so right, so what's I your think take the, on it? So my take is absolutely, you can only put up to 12 infantry in there, Yeah. but the restriction is that you can't have a kill team unit and another unit in there. Okay. But you can have any, you can have 12 non-kill team in any right. number of units or characters or whatever you like yeah. in that transport. Okay, right, yeah. nice. Yeah, so that, that's that's my take on it. So okay. you couldn't have like a a lieutenant with combi weapon, yeah. lone operative guy in there in addition to a kill team. Okay, right, yeah, so you can um, have one kill team or Or you can have multiple with, or yeah. one unit, whatever. Um, however, uh, you still would have to consider the capacity to be 12. Uh, right, okay. I, I think is the way I would recommend playing it. Yeah. Otherwise you can have potentially up to 24 capacity yeah. yeah in a course black star of 12 gravis well i can't lie man i don't see how one of them is fitting in there look you can honest. barely fit 12 actual dudes in there let alone yeah gravis squad yeah anyway <laughs> so um what does it do though is it is it good on itself apart yeah, from it's, it's cool so 10 wounds nice sorry toughness 10 yeah 14 wounds okay cheeky. three plus save it's got stealth so it's minus one to hit all the time great 
It's got hover, so you can start on the boards and lose the aircraft keyword. Okay. Which means you can now hide behind buildings. Yeah. Um, and it goes 20 inches if it's hovering. Okay. So it's quite good for mission cards and things. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. quite fast. Um, after it's moved, you can do mortal wounds to a unit you've moved over on fives. Oh, I yeah, like so that. That's roll cool. six dice and each five is a mortal wound. Okay, nice. Nice, cheeky little bomb. Um, you can give it an upgrade to either have smoke or ignores cover. Which one would you pick? Ignores cover. Yeah, because you've already got stealth and the smoke stratagem gives you stealth. So, yep. Um, and then weapons. I mean, Laz Cannon's not bad. Mine's modeled with the assault cannon, so I'm running the assault cannon for now. But I can yeah. see last cannons because you don't have a lot of anti-tank like built in. I was going to you know say I, mean? I think last cannons would be more of the way to go, right? Because yeah. I mean, if you just look at the, it is only one shot between linked. That's the only downside. It's just the one shot. <sighs> yeah, I mean, this isn't going to be your dedicated no destroyer, is it? Right. So no. it's it's there more as a transport, but it is. Yeah. It's, it's it, still got. The it ability. does pack some heat though, George. Yeah. Yeah. So it's you can have storm strike missile launchers on it, Ooh. which is strength ten AP two flat, flat three damage. Quite good. How many shots? Um, so you'll have two of them, so two shots. Okay, right. It's not nice. bad. Yeah. Or you can have a D6 plus one um, strength 5 AP 0, one damage, like blast. Guns. And like if you use the strat one. on this, yeah, you, you can, can make it AP 1. Gun. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. You can use the strat on, okay. on, on I like it. the aircraft. Um, you've got the twin assault cannon, and you can have a hurricane bower in addition as well. Okay, right. So, so it is packing a lot more than I thought. Yeah. Right. It's a good anti-horde vehicle, I think, and, and that's why that's I like the assault cannons on it. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I think the storm strike missiles for a little bit of anti-tank is quite nice. Yeah. Um, yes. Do yeah. I? Yeah. That, yes. That's it for the the um, the Corvus. Yeah. Anything else? Any units that you want to mention in terms of like from the Space Marine Index? Um, yeah. I mean, there's a there's so many combos you can do because there's yeah. so many different characters that you can now attach to some of these units. Yeah. Um, I quite like the Lieutenant with combi weapon. This, so this, this guy here. Yeah. So he yeah. fulfills a bit of a niche because he's lone operative. Yep. So he can stand on an objective at the back, potentially. Yep. Um, he also picks an objective. Uh, is it yes. each command phase, I think? I think it's each command phase. Um, and then if you're within six inches of him, you reroll ones to wound against targets on that objective. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So he's quite good for maybe being in the Corvus Black Star with a squad of Death Watch veterans. Yep. Um, and then they pop out and he's next to them. Yeah. And you could deep strike next to him as well. And then you're just rerolling ones to wound. Yeah, true, so true. Particularly lethal if you've got anti infantry 2 plus. Yes. Because you're now just going to win with all of your shots. Yep. Because it's going to be twos to wound with reroll ones. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, that's. So, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's just clocked out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, so that's really good. He's he's good um, as a little standalone character. Yeah. The Apothecary Biologist is, yep. is pretty good as well because um, you can attach them to a Gravis squad. And now you're making this 10-man grab squad 12, potentially, with the captain and the biologist. Yes. Lethal hits is good because the, the unit doesn't have anything like devastating wounds. Okay, right. Um, yeah. So you yeah. get a bit more out of them. Yeah. And, of course, you can do that combo we talked about earlier yes. with the Beacon Angelus and the Thief of Secrets. The Thief of Secrets. The, 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 yeah, yeah, the Thief sure. of Secrets <laughs> as well. Um, yes. And then um, indirect's pretty important in the game. So it is. It's uh, very prevalent. Whirlwind's pretty good yes. for Death Watch, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's a cool tank as well. And your your, your other baby. oh yeah, the Land Raider. Yeah, the Land Raider is very very good because you can take a Proteus kill team. Yeah. And you can work out the numbers and have a capacity yep. that fits in the Land Raider. Yeah. I've gone for a Redeemer because um, I love the Flamers and, the, and, the and it's got fourteen capacity. Yeah. Which means you can take seven veterans with three Terminators. Yeah. For a total of thirteen capacity, and then stick a Watchmaster in. Yeah. And you you fill out a Land Raider. And obviously, with all of those hammers, That's you can move the land raider, get out and charge. It's, yeah, it's a pretty nice. The combo. Overwatch on it is, is great as well. And right? the Overwatch on the Flamers is is pretty gnarly. Yeah, I, yeah. I think you have a um, a secret love for land raiders, don't you, mate? I do. They're my favourite space marine vehicle. Yeah, they might well be my favourite vehicle in the game. Oh, um, okay, yeah. Because they're just so iconic. They are really yeah. cool, aren't they? It, it's quite strange because I'm probably the only person in the studio that has land raiders painted, both for Chaos and yeah. for Loyalists. Yes. Uh, and everybody's like, why would I have one? They were terrible in the last edition. And it comes in the 10th edition. They would come in in really the finest good. hour. They're really good. <laughs> um, and funnily enough, I didn't have anything to do with that during playtesting. So, okay. um, yeah. They're, they're awesome. Yeah. Land Raiders are awesome. I'll take uh, your word for it, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah. That's great, mate. I'm, yeah, I'm sure there are other units. I mean, there's mate, so many in the Space Stream, but I'm not going to talk about them all. Yeah. If you've got a combo, that's definitely something you'd mentioned down below. Yeah. Um, there are some kill team units that actually the individual parts are better. Yes. Than the kill team itself, like the Spectrus. Yeah. Maybe sure. you actually just want three eliminators. Um, so yeah, if there's any standout units that you find for Death Watch, pop them in the comments below. Mm -hmm. um, this is me covering some more specific Death Watch stuff. Yeah, I think overall, from what you've told me, is the army is very thematic. Mm -hmm. um, there is some. It's very tactical. Um, 
tactical flexible. No, you know what I mean. Tactical versatility. That's the yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll go with that. I, the army just, it, it's got so much mission play. And I think that moves on to our next question. Yes. Is how do these guys play with the missions? Are you going tactical or fixed? That's a difficult question. Yeah. Because Death Watch lean into having these big units. Yes. They're tough to deal with. Yeah. So you kind of need to build the list where you have some of these individual guys to run around and do things like the Lieutenant with combi weapon, mm -hmm. as I've mentioned, like maybe a unit of incursors or yep. eliminators or something like that, mm -hmm. um, just to run around and do these missions. Yep. Fixed works very, very well, yep. as you might well imagine. Being able to do two oaths a moment. Oh, if yeah. You're, you're just going to do whatever you need to do. Yeah. Having precision across the entire army for a turn. Assassinate. Um, assassinate becomes fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so fixed definitely works better if you can do it. Yeah. Um, but you do have the option of tactical, which is where things like the Corvus rocks in really well. Yeah, people definitely. forget that it can go 20 inches and, yeah. and be eligible to shoot and stuff. So, yeah. um, it can do both, but excels at fixed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, definitely. I can see that. I mean, the, the damage potential for this army yeah. is on a different scale. Like it's, it's, it's really, really cool. Um, yeah. And yeah, I love it. But should we um, look at naming all these chapters? Yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. have a go. But, but first. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Hey, we're yeah. not gonna make, I'm not going to make you sit through George trying to work out what all of these chapters are. Because um, I reckon you won't get half of them. Oh, uh, no, no, um, no. I definitely yeah. won't. But yeah, no, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And obviously, if there are any combos, as we mentioned, put it down into the comments. We, we obviously would like to know what you guys think of Death Watch. Um, thank you, Mike, for teaching me how this army works so yeah, I can be later welcome. on stream. Yeah. Um, yeah. Great, mate. Yeah, well, yep. Thank you. Like, subscribe. We'll see you all in the next video. Hello, and welcome to this How to Play video. I am Jordan, and I'm joined here with the best Death Watch player of I don't know what year, but he was it once in history. <laughs> twice, actually, but okay. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Sorry, twice. Anyway, <laughs> it's not important. Um... <laughs> Sorry, that was making the bloopers. Well, this guy, best chapter ever. Best Legion ever. I mean, he is Death Watch, so yeah, best chapter ever. Mike, don't interrupt. Right, so... <laughs> so he's obviously a Blood Angel. Raven Guard. Well done. Space Wall. Yep. I'm going to move him out of the way, Mike, because it's getting okay, a bit... Okay, cool. Ultramarine. Oh, I'm surprised you got that one. Um, White Scar. Okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> Uh, Space Wolf number two. Yeah. <laughs> Iron Hand. Yeah, nice. Good work. Um, we've got a Black Templar. You don't have to do every model, mate. This is going to take literally forever. Okay, right. Just, okay, just right. Pick the different chapters.